Hey guys, it's Elisa with a step one question for you. Go ahead and do this on your own, pause this video, and then come back with me and we'll do it together. An eight-year-old boy is brought to the physician by his parents because of a 15-pound weight loss during the last four months. During this period, he has complained of abdominal pain and fullness, and his parents feel that he has been eating less. His parents also report that his urine has appeared pink for several weeks. He was born at term and he has been healthy except for a history of severe infantile seizures. His vital signs are normal. He is at the 70th percentile for height and 18th for weight. On physical exam, there's a palpable abdominal mass, tenderness in the left upper quadrant, and left CBA tenderness. There are several hypopigmented macules on the torso and a 4.5 centimeter plaque of rough dimpled skin on the right lower back and is of a similar coloring as the surrounding skin. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? Is it NF1, NF2, tuberous sclerosis, Sturge-Weber, or von Hippen-Landau? So let's think about our patient. Our patient has abdominal symptoms and renal symptoms. He has a palpable mass, pink urine, uh, CVA tenderness, and then pain in left upper quadrant. So you can think about things like a renal cyst, a tumor, possibly a kidney stone, but less likely. Um, he had a seizure disorder from a young age. That's important. So uh, as let's review for a second that a plaque in dermatology is a raised lesion, and he has a raised rough, some raised rough dimpled skin over the lower back. And that's pathognomonic for a chagrin patch. Are you getting the picture yet? A hypopigmented patch, uh, in this case, is called the ash leaf spot. So dermatological symptoms plus neurological symptoms is a neurocutaneous disorder, which is what all of the above are. Now the question is, which one? Let's go over the, the first one, which is neurofibromatosis. Uh, the classic buzzwords for this disease are cafe LA spots, Lish nodules, neurofibromas, and optic pathway gliomas. It may be accompanied by seizures, cognitive deficits, and soft tissue sarcomas, such as GIST. And here's a good little image that I found that demonstrates what those look like. So these Lish nodules are in the eye, the neurofibromas are little tumors on the skin and under the skin. Cafe LA spots literally are coffee colored spots on your body and then skin fold freckling or freckles in the axilla. So our patient likely does not have this just based on symptoms. Now neurofibromatosis two presents a little bit differently. It presents with bilateral, typically in the test at least, acoustic or vestibular schwannomas, plus schwannomas of other cranial nerves, as well as intracranial meningiomas and spinal and peripheral nervous tumors. This condition is typically diagnosed when the tumor appears in late adolescence or early adulthood. Um, and often the patients have seizures because of all these tumors, particularly the meningiomas. Uh, less likely, you'll have behavioral and cognitive abnormalities, and there's no renal effects. So this is probably not our, not our patient. Next option is tuberous sclerosis, which presents with benign hamartomas all over the body. Uh, it also presents in the skin as chagrin patches, angiofibromas, and ash leaf spots. It presents in the CNS with secondary seizures, hydrocephalus, and possibly intellectual disability and behavioral issues. And in the kidney, it presents as an angiomyolipoma, which can cause pain as well as impairment of renal function, benign cysts, or even renal cell carcinoma. Hmm, that sounds a little bit like our patient, but let's keep going. Oh, and then this is what an ash leaf macule looks like, as well as chagrin patch. Now, Sturge-Weber syndrome classically has the port wine stain. It's a capillary uh, malformation, and it often affects the forehead as well as the upper eyelid. It also presents with neurological disturbances such as seizures, intellectual disability, and even focal neurological deficits. Our last option is von Hippel-Landau disease, which presents with hemangioblastomas, renal cell carcinoma, pheochromocytomas, pancreatic cysts, and tumors. And this is the only one that has no dermatological findings, so that's important. Uh, the renal cell carcinoma is possibly consistent, so, um, you know, our patient could have had 
RCC. However, our patient definitely has dermatological findings, so this cannot be it. So we're left with C, tuberous sclerosis. We have chagrin patches. We have ash leaf spots. We likely have an angiomyolipoma, which is why the urine is red and there's an upper abdominal mass and CVA tenderness. So if you ever see any of these pictures, now you know how to um, find these diseases. They're very high yield for the exams and you will likely be tested on them. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching with me and we'll see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.